administer digital innovation, creates new opportunities, but also causes job displacement. Nowadays, you even have news presenters who are robots. What then? One, you can't just have one skill set for your entire life. And two is that even if you are in a very distinct professional line, you cannot just depend on a very narrowly defined skill set. Actually, everybody is having mismatches. Every country is facing this challenge, whereby their workers, despite what they have learned in the schools and the vocational institutions, have to continue learning even as they come out to the job market. If you look at my business, we constantly send them for training. We build a culture within our organisation. We always say, do not use yesterday's skill for tomorrow's job. And then there's this mindset that people joke about. If I train my worker, what if he leaves me? He says, but if you don't train your worker, what if he stays with you? Then in your words, he's using yesterday's skills for tomorrow's jobs. So he says, which one is worse? In fact, the whole idea of job displacement because of technology is not new. Jobs have been lost, but even more jobs have been created since then. The question would be, you know, what are the new jobs created? Where are the new jobs of the future? It's high tech, high touch, high trust. Today, you can have a lot of internet platforms. A few big players will take most of the market because they have that brand of trust. You and me won't just go onto any website and buy things, mm -hmm. but we will go to the few trusted websites. I will agree with the Minister. Singapore as a brand has got very high trust. But here, I also like to play the contrarian because the government has done a good job, in my opinion. It's over-caring, <laughs> it's over-nurturing, <laughs> If we continue to be like that, are we making ourselves a nanny state? People are in many ways expecting and relying on the government rather than helping themselves. Same thing for our SMEs. I think that's a fundamental problem. I'm saying that we need to get them to help themselves. Our trade associations can help to bring the SMEs together. When we go overseas, how can we pool our resources to go as a team? we can help our SMEs to understand the markets beyond Singapore. Some of our bigger companies, they can play a role to help our smaller companies by bringing them along. All workers need to be conscious that the competition is global. And that global competition requires us to be on our toes. We compete not just by having a local mindset, a local skill set, but we compete by having a global mindset and global skill set.